Hello and welcome to another video by Day Night Gaming. Now this is part 11 in an ongoing series in which I'll be showcasing as well as discussing my thoughts and views on the conversation route for female light-sided Sith warrior in the MMORPG known as Star Wars The Old Republic. Now you're finally on the planet of Tantooine and this is a very nostalgic planet. I really enjoyed being here. It's very immersive. And the story really starts to focus in on uh, the character known as Jaysa. So I really, really enjoyed this planet. Anyways, without further ado, here are the videos. Hope you enjoy. The sands of Tatooine await you, apprentice. I've gleaned much since our interrogation of the Republic agent here on Drolland Kass. I am certain Noman Carr brought this gifted Padawan to Tatooine to train with a legendary master named Yonlock. Years ago, I urged the Dark Council to hunt down and destroy this Jedi. They refused, and Yonlock went into hiding on Tatooine. He's hiding in the desert. Why does this coward Jedi concern us? He was the greatest Jedi teacher of his time. The Force remains strong in him. Yonlock is the one who brought the Padawan's powers into expression. Now they share a special bond. Find him and destroy him. What do you hope to achieve by doing this? Norman Carr shelters his prize, so we will draw her out by destroying everything she loves. My servant Sharok Biv will guide you. She's eccentric, an acquired taste, but give her the benefit of the doubt. I'm making no promises. I will often indulge your whims, apprentice, as long as you deliver results. But in this case, mold yourself closely to my commands. That is all. The harsh sands of Tatooine welcome you. I am Sharak Reeve. Our lord and master, Darth Barris, bid me to impart my knowledge of this planet and help you track down the Jedi Master, Yanlok. I'm glad to have your assistance. I will be your compass. You will find Master Yonlok by tracing the path the Padawan and her master took. I can tell you where they started. I followed them to the forbidden lair of the ancient sand demon, a terrible beast. The Padawan left her weapons and entered alone. Impossibly, she returned unscathed. Now you've got my undivided attention. The Sand Demon is the fiercest creature on this planet. You don't just walk into its lair and return without a scratch. I investigated further. The beast was there, also undamaged. And what's most perplexing, its skin was glistening. That is very confusing. Was it bleeding? Not blood as from a wound. More like the layer of living gel one is born into the world covered in. What happened in that cave is a mystery, as is where the Padawan and her master went afterwards. There is one man on Tatooine who might be able to explain. Isabeau Jeef. He's as old as the sand. Part madman, part soothsayer. Better not be a waste of time. If anyone can deduce why the Padawan sought the sand demon, it is he. It will not be easy to speak with Jeef. The small farming settlement where he lives has been overrun by exchange thugs. The exchange hates the Empire for running them out of Mos Ela. They will allow me to pass, but they'll attack you on sight. Thanks for looking out for me. I'm invested in seeing you succeed, and I will meet you at Isabeau Jeef's. The world is weeping and the tears evaporate in the heat of our sins. I think you mean from the heat of our suns, Isabeau. No, child. There is a dark presence newly arrived on Tatooine. Ah, Sith. You made it. The hostels outside were no match for you, I see. Sorry if I tracked blood in on your floor. The world is an hourglass, ever being turned. The sands wipe away all traces of the past. You are the seeker Sharak spoke of. You wish to understand the Jedi's purpose in the lair of the sand demon. You see it correctly. 
My eyes may be aged and failing, but my mind sees. Please, Isabeau, make haste. Tell my friend what you know. I will remain here after to hear your wisdom. Fine. Gather close. Few are aware that Tatooine was once a place of positive force energy. Jedi made pilgrimages here to renew and purify. The sands speak of a ritual called the Demon's Blood. This is likely what the Jedi that Sharak witnessed was engaged in. Explain this ritual. The Demon's Blood. A Jedi seeking enlightenment would cover himself in fresh sand demon blood and enter the village of the Savage Ones. Cowering before the Demon Slayer, the Savage Ones would reveal the path to self-discovery and to that which the Slayer seeks. Do you mean the Sand People? Tatooine makes most who come here savage. And the Sand People have been here all along. Isabeau, as I told you, the girl faced the beast but left it unwounded. There must be another way to bathe in the beast's blood. But you'll have to discover that for yourself, if you care to. To know where this Jedi girl went, you'll have to perform the ritual yourself, and then see if the Savage Ones speak. I appreciate your help and insights. Step lightly on my desert. It has been through so much in its life. Here are the coordinates you will need. After you face the Sand Demon, I will meet you at the Sand People compound. If the legend is true, and the Sand People have something to offer you, I wish to see it with my own eyes. Uh, <clears throat> can we talk for a second? I really don't have a good feeling about this. Walking into a demon's lair not your idea of fun? Sorry. I just have an irrational aversion to attacking monsters that can swallow me whole. I'm thinking, if the Jedi perform the demon blood ritual without a fight, there must be a way we can too. As a favor to me, could we please get through this without mixing it up with the sand demon? I was already planning on doing that. Oh good. That's a relief. Looks like it's showtime. The monsters caught a whiff of us. I'm ready to back you up if it goes badly. I yield to you, demon. If I knew we were gonna literally bathe in it, I would have waited outside. And the smell, oh, Kag, we're gonna stink for days. Oh, what if it never wears off? It will be all right, Vet. I sure hope you're right. I take a lot of pride in my hygiene. So, let's get out of the stink pit, huh? Calm yourself, Vet. Okay, I'm trying. I trailed and observed your descent here. I could not believe my eyes. The Sand People all ran from you. What transpired inside the Sand Demon Cave that makes this so? It was an epic battle, and I killed the beast. You have bathed in the demon's blood. Its essence fills the air. Now, Isabeau said that this is where your path will be illuminated. There doesn't seem to be anything here. Wait! On your guard, Offworlder. One of the Sand People approaches.
I've never seen one of the Sand People approach an outsider in peace. This parchment the Sand Person brought is remarkable. It is a crude but very clear map of the desert. It marks a door carved into the wall of the Desert Wound Ravine. But I've mapped this ravine and there is no such door. If this is where the Padawan went, I must follow. I shudder to think what awaits you there. The ravine marks the farthest I or anyone I know of has dared venture. Here are the coordinates. I will follow stealthed, using the Dune's shadows. Think first of your own safety and do not follow if it becomes too harrowing. Your concern is appreciated. Darth Barris enlisted my services to be scout and lookout, and I intend to do my job. Head deeper into the desert, and you will find the Desert Wound Ravine. Safe journey. Try not to blink. Soak in what true power looks like. I am the embodiment of your true potential. I am what you could be if you had the guts to follow the dark path more faithfully. I knew I was good looking, but this is ridiculous. Vanity becomes you. But your looks will do you no good unless you heed my words. Cease your merciful tendencies and embrace the full meaning of the dark side of the Force. Or you will be destroyed. You have my attention. You are Sith. You walk among Sith. The stench of the light in you will be like rot in their nostrils. Darth Barrows will smell it on you and will strike you down without mercy. You may be right. Deep down, you've known it all along. This Padawan can destroy Barris. He has foreseen it. What if you can seduce her? Claim this Padawan for yourself, corrupt her to the dark, control her and add her power to yours. A master of the dark side could turn this Padawan. And then you can destroy Barris and claim everything he has. I can take Barris without embracing the dark. Fool! One day, the darkness that you reject will overwhelm you. have proven your way is strong and viable. With this victory, our essence has been purified. In the clarity of this communion, a vision of our destiny on Tatooine appears. Can you see it too? An encampment hidden in the farthest reaches of the desert, past a rock formation called the Forbidden Pass. Is this where I will find the Jedi Master Yornlok? There is no doubt this is where the Padawan went. This is where the Great Master helped her powers become expressed. The image fades. Find the Forbidden Pass and confront Master Yornlok beyond it. Our journey on this planet ends there. Farewell. I cannot believe what I just witnessed. Did, did you just tell yourself to venture beyond the Forbidden Pass? Tell me everything you know about this place. I am chilled to the bone. The desert beyond the Forbidden Pass is an area that no one can survive. No one. Even the Sand People dare not go. You mustn't go. 
Your concern for me is unnecessary. This is not some silly superstition. Those who go beyond the Forbidden Pass are never seen again. I will not. I cannot follow you there. You've done enough, Shorok. Thank you. That is... kind of you to say. I told Lord Barris I would see your mission through. But I never imagined it would come to this. With a heavy heart, I give you the location of the Forbidden Pass. I am... shamed that my cowardice paralyzes me. I fear I will never see you again. I'll be fine. I don't plan on dying in this desert. If you plan to cross the Forbidden Pass, that is exactly what you are doing. Master Yunlock, the Sith you've been tracking is upon us. Retreat to safety. I will take the intruder on. No, Yu Li. Control your feelings. Stand at my side. I will face this trespasser. Come no farther, Sith. I have been aware of your pilgrimage here. You are a fascinating and contradictory example of your order. I know why you've come. Master Nomenkar's Padawan threatens you somehow. You seek to flush her into the open and silence her. I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't insult me, child. You are an open book to me. You are here for her. I know it. She came to me for guidance, and the bond we struck was the most profound of my life. We are psychically linked, she and I, and I have already warned her about you. She will not fall for your manipulations. I only seek to talk to her. I will not fall for your manipulations either. The disparity in our capabilities is equal to the disparity in our age. You cannot win. Turn away now. I've come too far to stop now. What does it matter how far you've come, if your life ends here? In me you face a full Jedi Master, and Yu Li has greater command of lightsaber combat than any Jedi Knight I've trained. Uh, <clears throat> color me nervous. Have we ever faced a full-fledged, card-carrying Jedi Master before? The Jedi have no idea how lethal you are, Vet. I sense that's a bluff, but no matter. Your compatriot's query is moot, as you will be facing us on your own. Well done, Master Yonlock. Now please, retreat and let me face the Sith. Your concern is appreciated, Yu Li, but I did not seize the advantage here to immediately relinquish it. You don't fight fair, Jedi. When the stakes are this high, I am bound to do whatever it takes to preserve the Order. Now for the last time, will you stand down? Let me think about it. Enough of this! It's useless to reason with the Sith. You Li, don't! Blazes, my hand is forced! Hold your weapon, Sith! I beg you. Yu Li, stay your tongue. No, she is just a Padawan. You are a great master. I must bargain for your life. Sith, I'll tell you everything I know, if you spare Master Yunlock. Your devotion is remarkable. I'm sorry, Master Yunlock. But I must do this. Her name is Jaisa Wilson. And Nomen Kar has taken her to... Yu Li, you have no recollection of the Padawan this Sith seeks. I have no recollection of the Padawan this Sith seeks. Now, sleep. I do not relish wiping Yu Li's mind like that, but his feelings for me got the better of him. 
Don't apologize for doing what's necessary. It is a terrible thing, a last resort. I had to act for the greater good. Jaysa is special, her power unprecedented. If untouched by the likes of you, she has the potential to lead the Jedi to greatness. You're filled with presumptions, Yornlak. I mean her no harm. I know your mind, Sith. You twist the truth and manipulate weakness. I must err on the side of caution. You know Jace's name, but that is all you'll get here. So you may as well kill me. I must find tranquility, so Jace will sense only peace when you strike me down. I refuse to deal the killing blow. Just tell her I want to talk. You only wish to send a message? I am at a loss to understand you, Sith. Because of the link we share, Jaysa knows what transpired here. Your message has been received. She will do with it what she will. I leave you to wrestle with what you did to your fellow. I do feel the shame of my actions. It will be difficult to live with. Goodbye, Sith. You've left me with much to ponder. Well, the rumors are true. Being paralyzed is a blast. You put on quite a show. I knew you were good, but, uh... Hope you enjoyed yourself? Not at all. It was infuriating not being able to wipe the sweat dripping from my nose. So, Sharik said she'd be at the ship. She thought we were done for. Can't wait to see the look on her face. We don't return to her until I'm good and ready. Yeah, you're right. We should probably do some more sightseeing. I never expected to see you again. Does this mean you ventured beyond the Forbidden Pass and found Master Yonlock? The mission is complete. This is a great lesson. The only barriers that exist are the ones we create in our minds. I will never again assume that I know all there is to know, and I will explore the entirety of the Tatooine Desert without reservation. You have learned much from this. I hope Lord Barris knows how fortunate he is to have such a fine champion shepherding his cause. I shall never forget you. I'll remember you fondly as well. Safe travels, my lord. If you're ever on Tatooine again, come and see me. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider smashing that thumbs up button. Uh, hit that subscribe and ring that bell uh, for notifications on future videos that I might be posting. And until next time, take care. Goodbye.